<laughs> Hi, I'm Jeanette with the NSF Center for Aerosol Impacts on Chemistry of the Environment. Now we are scientists who do chemistry to understand how and why aerosols are such an important part in the climate and environment of our planet. But what's an aerosol? So an aerosol is any bit of stuff that gets suspended in the air. This can be things like smoke and ash, dust, sea spray, or pollution. Now one of the important reasons that scientists study aerosols is to understand the effects of pollution. Because some days it just seems like pollution is everywhere. And this affects us all because we all need to breathe. So a lot of air pollution comes as the result of something we call incomplete combustion. So combustion is just whenever something is burning. Now this could be the burning of fossil fuels or the burning of a candle, like you see right here. Now, when we have something burning, you can see it's happening here, there's incomplete and complete combustion. With complete combustion, all we would see as a result of something burning is there would only be the production of carbon dioxide and water. Now, this isn't what happens in reality. In reality, we get incomplete combustion, where we can see that while this candle is burning, there's a lot more being produced. We can see the smoke and the ash and the sparks coming off of this candle. But it's difficult to tell if those are aerosols or not. So we're going to do an experiment where we capture the aerosols coming off of an incomplete combustion reaction. Okay, so let's do the experiment to try to capture some of those aerosols that are being produced by the incomplete combustion reaction. So I'm going to start with getting my candle on so I can have that combustion reaction happening, right? The burning. So there we go. My candle is now burning. And the thing I'm going to do to capture these aerosols coming off is I'm going to go ahead and use this can. And you can see I've got an oven mitt on here because I'm going to place this can above the candle and so it's going to start to get hot and I don't want to burn myself. So let's go ahead and we'll put it on top of the can and it's going to start being above this incomplete combustion reaction that we have happening and I'm going to be collecting aerosols, if there are any, that are coming off of this reaction. All right, there we go. And if we have a look now at the bottom of the can, we can see that it's covered with black. I'm gonna go ahead and blow my candle out. And we can see that that is um, the aerosols. That black is the aerosols that have been collected from this incomplete combustion reaction. It's not that the can is burned. And if I carefully take a tissue and wipe some of this off, you'll see that it becomes clean, right? And now there's aerosols, soot aerosols on the tissue. So we can see that these incomplete combustion reactions do in fact produce quite a bit of um, air pollution as these aerosols, and we commonly refer to these as soot. The study of soot and other kinds of aerosols that contribute to air pollution is important for scientists to study so we can understand their health impacts for both people and the planet. And as scientists learn and study, they then can talk with lawmakers in order to help them make good decisions and create new laws and regulations to keep us all and our planet safe and healthy. For more videos, visit our website or check out our YouTube channel and keep learning all about aerosols.